Yes, your I love Daru's love. Just, just, just because he's your favorite hero. Huh? Absolutely, that's that's the only reason. I have nothing else okay. to back up Tarizla. He's I, I, so I bad know, other than that. I've, I've known you for a long time. I know you you love those Tarizla, but I've got to ask, what? Why is it your favorite hero? Oh, because he's really simple to play. You tap the you tap the button three times, and then you just clear the wave. Done. There are so many heroes that are simple to play. I mean, sure, but Tarizla is like unnecessarily tanky, and he does a good amount of damage. It's like it's the best of both worlds. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where it's like I want to one v one people, but I don't want to die? Well, Tarizla's the guy. Have you seen Have you seen how short of a legs that Tarizla has? He's got like this slow, arguably the worst rotation in terms of movement speed. Yeah, but who needs that when you're put, when you're bringing the team to you because you're that hard to kill and you deal that much damage? Okay. It's all about the mental game. It's all about the mental game. Would it, wouldn't <laughs> Xbox be better than that? Okay, first of all, first of all, Xbox meta. Terizla really needs a buff. But let's look <laughs> at where <laughs> we're going at here dead. with now the trimmer on the blue side. We've been oh. on the red side. Sun, <laughs> Bend out, Benedetta, <laughs> Matilda, all gone. Not gonna lie, you know, the Sun, um, it wasn't super flashy, but you know, even I could tell it was super annoying to deal with. Mm -hmm. As V96 says, I'm done with this son. <laughs> I don't want to see this disgusting hero. It's so dirty, and I'm not gonna lie, Tachama did him one solid. And this game without the sun means, haha, Xbox is gonna be out. Mm -hmm. Matilda's mm -hmm. okay, Matilda's out. Uh, <laughs> what is gonna be, you know, okay, the Har Harley is gonna be okay. down for the count. So, our Xbox is out, so means, Tachama. Are they gonna pick the Harley? Or uh, are they gonna stick with something even dirtier than the Sun? Well, it's a little tough to say because the Tremor was on the red side. Now on the blue side, they might have a different change of plans here, especially when it comes down to priority picks. Uh, you know, I would have said Benedetta, but they've already banned that out. It looks like, as you mentioned, yeah, you were right. Harley is gonna be the quick pickup for the Tremor. Hopefully, Benazi does pick up the Kaja just to kind of deny uh, that, that natural synergy between the two. Mm. I, I think the Kaja is okay, but as of now, Bina is... Uh, I would say Tachama was in a position, if you based on game number one, where it's okay, take the Kaja, we have a different alternative, you know? <laughs> we want your Kaja to play on the side lanes, which may or may not happen, but... As of now, it's going to be the response. Bina is saying response with Hayabusa, pretty okay. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit of a side lanes here to kind of catch up with Harley. I like the response. What's next? You know, maybe the, like you say, Kaja again, or are they gonna just straight up take away the Akai? Which did, uh, there was something I did not expect at the wall coming as the Chirma or the tanks, but it seems like they are gonna take the Kagura instead. Thoughts on this? Well, Kagura is a super safe pick. She has all the tools necessary. However, it's gonna be the Saber insta lock in from the side of the Chirma. So you gotta be extremely careful when these ninjas are going to duel. Somebody is gonna get, eventually get one shot. Oh no! Oh no! The saber! Oh no! Right? Oh no! Why uh -huh. you gotta do him dirty? Oh no! Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll Dude. see. But all we know, they could lock in Kaja as well, and they've okay. got an all lock composition. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, we, we, saber is almost like eighty percent win rate, right? Like uh, uh, every time someone pulls out a saber, it always guarantees you like some insane plays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. The, the only team who kind of had a way to win against the Saber was pretty much anti Blitz Great, and even that they were struggling, they had to drag it so long into the Dangerous Gator game. So, Akai, oh, Comfort Picks, once again, the Jumma, I like it. Team is banning. The Kufra, however. Now, I've got an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Bouncing Ball yeah. locks Triple Sweep, yes or no? Or is it Triple Sweep, uh, Bouncing Ball bait for Triple Sweep to cancel the Bouncing Ball? Ooh. Tough, huh? Tough. Oh, the first one is a bit of a no-brainer. The second part is to bait it out, huh? I think it, it, it comes down to a few. It, it comes down to a few conditions, but I think regardless, as long as you get, as long as you collide with the bouncing ball, that already puts you in danger as a saber. It's not like a sun where it's like you can use your you can use your alt and send out a couple of doppelgangers to go for that big hit and then bounce off the bouncing ball. Nobody cares because nobody knows who you are, saber. That, that doesn't work. You have to either flicker on out of there, which I don't think he's going to have. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to have execute. But yeah, I would rather not have Your to deal with it picking. anyways. But let's see. Let's see. Because for all, because right now, Papa has been playing really, really well mm -hmm. on the Akai. That could open up some space. Final bands, it's going to be the Kaja. It's going to be the Roger. Yeah, the Saber and Akai is a great lockdown against Hayabusa. He tries to get do something funny with 
the Quad Shadows as well as the OK Shadow kill here. So I would say, you know, the only one who's pretty much in the safety net here is going to be Kagura. He's going to be able to bait out potentially a couple of uh, over commitments from Saber. But there's not a lot of uh, 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 heroes that can actually do that. So in this case, they need something for some sort of protection or, or some sort of burst here. Kagura is great, but... The oh. Moskov, okay. I like the idea okay. because at least with Moskov, you can push people away, but then the Ling is going to get picked up and Ling loves oh. to close the distance. No. And even an Alice, what a comp we see oh. from the Jamar. No. And Benasek finish off theirs with a Lancelot. Looks like everybody just wants that raw damage. They want to fight, they want blood. I, I know I brought this up that the Jamar is, you know, kind of like, dirty, contaminated, or polluted, you know, a translation. But this is dirty. <laughs> Round number two. <laughs> this is dirty picks I mean, coming I'll, from the Joma. I'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you now, I do not want to be the jungler for Benassi, that's I, for sure. I don't know how I want to play against that at all. It, it doesn't look like fun, but hopefully oh 30 Gaming is able to outplay them with his mechanical skill because he is really going to need it. He even took Purify this time around. Oh. <laughs> so let, let, let's see, let's see whether this marksman can hold his own. Uh, Lord Pin, he's definitely been able to do a couple of pretty cool plays overall, but it might, his drop just got significantly difficult. Okay, summarize this here, Gideon. You know, we, we gotta summarize here. You know, we, we see a you know, very dirty composition of Terjama, a lot of cash potential coming from Saber, Link getting a little bit aggressive. What about Vinna Isik? What is their win condition right now? Well, I think the win condition is to try and scooch it over to the late game as quickly as possible or look to try and stop the Tremar from actually playing the game early on, which is also extremely difficult to do. And there we go, first blood, already done. Don't even know what exactly happened there. What in the world? Well, Anapolos just straight up won his 1v1. How did, how did, what, And how? he actually beat it out to purify. How did he, uh, uh, I mean, mistakes have been made. Uh, mistakes have been made, but it doesn't mean you can't recover from it. 30 Gaming didn't lose too much EXP. The first wave just crashed under the turret, but it does mean that the orange buff will be highly contested. Honda Beast going to be landing on top of Anamama. Can she get out? Oh, unfortunately, 30 Gaming picks her up in the process. Hey, we were a little bit worried here. You know, we were wondering how is he going to come back? That's how exactly how he's gonna come back here getting a kill back and that's gonna be him a little bit more xp he's lost out this lane but slowing down this link means that it's gonna be more space to come however lord pain sakrina the buffs here he's gonna try and challenge out of papa that's gonna be him down for the count means that this landslot is looking to snowball his way through so all hope is not lost yet bina is showing a little bit more flexible and more concrete plan compared to game number one yeah i mean they're able to recover from what could have been something really really bad uh, for the gold laner so early on but you know anapolos he's just gonna do what he does best just chill out sit away harass 30 gaming whenever he can. Ah, you try to use the regenerate, no problem. I'll cancel it uh, without too much issue. But it does force Benasik to kind of play towards the top side of the map and Hayabusa left on his own. Yep, Anapapa now opening up a little bit too much, but he needs to be very, very careful on his positioning just because he does not have those hurricane dance. However, we do see a little bit of a side lanes here from the side as a Honda Beast is going to be trying to go in for the steam rope potential. Well, mm, it could be tough. It could be tough. 30 game now in trouble. Oh no, he's getting dropped on instantaneously by Mama. And unfortunately for Papa this time round, feels funny to say, but he does end up trading one for one. Not exactly ideal, but hey, we're getting there. We are getting there as Anapolos continues to push on his lane for now. Moskov continuing to getting, uh, to con continues to get punished, but at the very least, he is getting some form of economy. Yep, I agree here. When it comes to economy-wise, it seems like uh, Tachirma, they need some sort of... Uh, they need the Hurricane Dance if they want to make some sort of play. And Honda Beats with the Tyrant's Rage here actually catches off off guard. And Anapolos is going to be forced to go for Triple C. And he's going to take him down, actually paying with his price. And what a clutch moment coming from Anapolos. Wow. 
Oof. Ooh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. But you can see that the Trimmer are targeting 30 Gaming. They're, they don't want him to scale as much as possible. And you can see Gaul, he's going to be able to proxy two waves at the same time, mid and bottom, similarly to Uranus with Anabai. There to save him. He knows he's in trouble. He tries with the Blood Oath as hard as he can. Trouble losing 50% of his HP. And now 30 Gaming here, hopefully trying to get any kind of goal to boost himself up into that power, almighty powerful form. Yep, and now Anabai is going to try and back off here. He goes for the sidestep here as Lord Pin, not going to be able to finish combo, but he's trying to bait him out as Anapapa waiting very patiently here with the Hurricane Dance. Unfortunately, will not find anything here, but finally, we see Link come and bounce back as well. He's got 1 and 1 and 0. Oh. This Kufra is a threat and he doesn't want to overextend. Anapapa, for the fight here. They're just doing the handshake. Honda Beast and, you know, Anapapa, they're like, you know what? Let's just, you know, tag each other real quick. Let's make, make sure we know that our presences are known, especially because of how highly contested 30 gaming is between the two. You know, you got to spread love, not hate, man. You know, that's, gotta, that's how you got to do here. However, oh my Yuri, Forza the Oki Shadow kill here. Ana Gao, surprising now. Very tanky against uh, the Hayabusa. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It looks like the game is is gone to a more passive style of play to Trauma. I, I feel like they've realized, like, okay, we may have given a couple too many kills over to Benasic for now. Let's go get our first items. As you see, on a bike already getting the Genius one. Expect the next up upcoming fight to be right here by the Turtle Pin. Oh, Lord Pin getting poked off with the bullet here, but Toto, like you said as well, is going to be the objective coming in from both teams. Teams, Ana Papa, going to be trying to zone this out. Honor is going to be starting with Bouncing Ball. Oh, unfortunately, nothing much is going to be happening. Anapapa looking for the engage. Catches up Changu. Can he disengage? Yes, he will. And that's going to be Anapapa going to pay the price. This 30 game is going to slowly chip away. Anapolis will trade Kagura for his dear life. So a mate for a sport. Well, will be trade here, but oh. it's not over yet. You can see the lane cutting the back lines. Lord Pin is going to connect as well. That's going to be Lord Pin out of the picture as they go full on aggression. Honda is a massive oh. Tyrus raid. Connect us too. Do they have the damage? No, they do not. 30 game will only get one. Do it. But do it. It's going to be close. But... Uh, he's playing with fire, man. Ooh. I'm getting nervous. It's making my it's like making my legs shake, man. You don't want to stand that close to Ling at that HP. You could go at any moment. I I agree, I agree. That's a pretty close one, but it's not over yet. Bina Isik, they need to buy time. And like you said as well, Bina Isik is trying to stall this as long as they can. And once that happens, 30 Gaming is going to come back online. And if we talked about him having a really rough start, look at him now. He's got 5, 3, and 1. Means this Moscow is going to eventually scale pretty hard. Now, Tyrus Revenge comes in, missing the mark here. Great game sense here coming on Apollo's hearing the audio kill from this Tyrus Revenge. The timing, the timing couldn't have been more perfect. All right, now, let's see how they're going to continue to play this, right? Because, oh, wait, Anapapa oh, no. instantly locking down Lord Finn. He goes for oh, the triple no. sweep. Anapolos is like, ha, game sense, more like genius. Yeah. Uh, Anapapa now uh, opening up the map. is going to be high fighting with Honda Beast once again. Goes for a nice stun, but unfortunately does not have the hurricane done. So that's going to be a zoning tactic coming from Papa to try and secure the turtle. Chango going to go for a little bit of harassment. Are they going to go for the commitment? The no, they cannot. Anamama has the turtle and Changu has to disengage. So Bina is safe. Has to play a little bit low here as Tachoma will get 19.5k lead in terms of economy here. So that's gonna be a 1k, almost 2k lead. Meanwhile, Anapolos going for the triple oh, sweep and what? once again the counter engagement coming for Anapolos and he sidesteps with 1 HP, taking down 30 gaming. The counter engagement with the hurricane dance. Anamama rotating in time to take down not one, not Two, potentially a third here. Chang U needs to be careful. He's getting focused down. Meanwhile, middle side as well. That's going to be a huge creep wave swinging into a Sachama's favor. Oh my goodness. Oh, you hate to see it. You really hate to see it. Like, just a sliver of help. Just a little bit more would have been enough to pick up that kill. But unfortunately enough, that's not going to be happening. Anapolis, duh. Oh, he does actually have the triple sweep. But that does mean that Omai oh Yuri is going to back away from that situation. Moskov now going to be heavy. Heavily invested upon by the team, also handing over the orange buff, I'm assuming. Oh no, they're giving over to Lancelot. Uh oh, Anangao dropping a little bit low. Yuri gonna be caught out over here. The Hurricane Dance Flicker coming from Papa, willing to trade his life for her death. That was a big catch once again from Tachoma. Mm, 
okay, looks fine, looks fine. This is a savable game. This is a totally savable game. They're not too far away, but not at all. He's gonna quickly use the blood oh, into the Winter Trungeon. Oh, the bait, they baited him so well, but Honda Beast decides to go engage into the fight. He's got no damage, unfortunately, so both Ana uh, by is going to be good, and Polos continues the one-shot. It's the, uh, this game is so painful. Getting one shot like that is no fun. No, Honda Beast on you two, as they're gonna go for a full on time by Ana Mama here. Honda Beast, get out of there! Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, be nice. They need to buy it one more time. Now, this time, he's gonna have the Assassins versus Assassin. Oh, Anapolos oh. is gonna get out once again. Oh my, Yuri, he needs to be oh, careful here, but Lord Pain will get caught off. Oh my goodness, that is just so, so unfortunate here. As Bina is he needs to be careful about not snacks. And Anapaba, oh my goodness, what is happening? Oh no, they're doing this so dirty. It, it, it really is. This is a really... <laughs> the composition from the Chamar. Uh, you have to give him credit for the creativity, but man, is this brutal. You just have... You feel like you have no counterplay because they press one button and you're dead. That's how unfortunate this situation is going to be. And it doesn't help that Gal is being oh. super frustrating. He's proxying both mid and bottom wave. Binasek have no real answer to it because they don't have the goal to get the items for the hard counter. Yeah, this is crazy coming from the Chirma. This is insane. Like, like I said, well, pressing one button, they've got Harley, they've got the Saber. It seems like it is a very viable combo. Ana Papa getting cheeky. It looks like Banana is sick. They will finally uh, learn their lessons here. They realize that this hard, uh, this Akai is annoying, but Ana Gao is uh, disrespecting here. He's just cutting the creep wave, and that's going to be the Lord out for grabs for absolutely no contest coming from Tachoma. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough situation to be in. Anambai, actually, that was a good amount of damage coming out of Lord Pin. He has got the damage. Let's look at the items so far. Yeah, he's got the War Axe. He's got a Blade of Hepatitis. Looks like he might be building into a potential endless battle. We'll have to wait and see, because that could pretty much be anything at this point. Yeah, and uh, the Jema now. They are going to be having the Lord push down for the bottom side. Bina is it needs to make a play here. Oh. Anapapa going for a hurricane dance. This time, they will pay it up. So that's means going to be the opportunity here. Oh. They jump the gun, missing the mark, but it's going to be enough to shut down Harley. And they finally show themselves they have the damage here. The Moskov is online. It's all up to Yuri to carry this game. Anamama looking for the engagements here. He's trying to bait rotation. And that's going to be a couple skills going for the bait. But here comes the Shadow King. Oh my, Yuri. Going to be able to sidestep his way through. Oh, that wow. Ninja moves. Ninja moves all across the board, but honestly, that was pretty funny because Ana Bai ended up dying because Papa was like, nope, flicker out of the way, and then they realized, wait a second, wait a second, what are you doing here, buddy? <laughs> but now they continue to fight on the Blood Oat as well as Winter Trunch has been put up. Yes, there we go, protects himself, no minions to kind of keep him safe. There it goes. We also see the Thousand Powder from Ana, uh, uh, Ana Papa as he gets on out of there. Good disengage from Tuchamai. Doesn't want to afford any more losses in this oh, situation. Oh, uh, he catches on Amama, but the rest of the team from BNIC has no follow up whatsoever, and they have to be waiting for a retreat. This is going to be the punish coming from the Chirma, as the rest of BNIC has pretty much expended all their spells going for the dive, and uh, you know, almost getting the initial kill on towards Ana Gao, and that's just so unfortunate considering that Ana Papa has been doing fantastically well in his support as the tank Akai. Oh boy, I mean, they're, they're getting cooped up back into quarantine, back into their inhibitor turrets here as the Tramar basically are just all vaccinated and they're just having a great time free roaming around, checking out the space. Oh, look, fresh air. Ooh, people, this is fun. You know who's got to have the biggest fun right now? What? Anapolo's got seven kills with one hit KOs. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, and especially when he has the execute up and available, like, you're almost it's guaranteed to die. Agreed here. And it, it feels like Bina is like, they have to kind of bait this out. And we talked about how Honda Blood... Honda... He needs to kind of provide a little bit of vision and assist. It's so hard as Skrufra because you kind of want to start the fight, but right? at the same time, if you <laughs> overcommit here, a random saber comes from behind and says, Hey, I see Moskov. What's up? Goodbye. Oh, man. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. But, like, what can Benasi do at this point of time? There really isn't a lot of counterplay per se, considering what the composition is trying to do. But, hey, we see an anti-curious buy on to Oh My Yuri. That's going to give him a little 
little bit more uh, a little bit more armor to actually protect himself from Polos and arguably even Mama as well. Ooh, what's the win con here, Gamma Uh Well, basically, you have to hold on to their inhibitor turns uh, until Kingdom comes. That's uh, basically the whole entire plan. Yeah, until, <laughs> un until at least 30 gaming, it reaches 15, right? Uh, uh, wait, how many items? He's got two items. He's building the third item. Yeah, he needs his level 15. Uh, I, I think he needs this uh, until he builds up to that situational item. I don't think level 15 is going to save him just yet. Yeah, probably needs to pick up in terms of farm here because Vidna Sig is pretty much 10k, almost 12k, oh sorry, 8k behind Tachima in terms of economy. So this next Lord fight here is going to be very crucial, but can he find some sort of pickoff here? Arai Papa going to be setting up a couple baits, but looks like the Hurricane Dance comes in, it connects onto his attack, but it's only attack. And ooh, Anamama, very... A cheeky with those kind of baits there. No reactions. Testing out of waters. Yeah, again, just scouting for information to see whether or not they made the mistake of walking out of their base and if they're too far out, uh... they can do something. Papa, he's just way too tanky at this point. He's got the items. He's got more than enough gold in the economy to oh, do so. Oh, no. The bear is going to cancel out. <laughs> <laughs> and it does it again. <laughs> it cancels his recall. Ana Papa is probably like, okay, a bit annoying. Oh, we'll, we'll get Navi's. him back. Big one, big one. No, oh, okay, he's no, not no, going to no, go no. for it. He doesn't have the angle. Uh, if they knew that was actually happening on those Hakai, they might have jumped the gun. But at the same time, seeing how Anagol is responding, cutting the creepers once again with this Alice, I don't think they would have challenged this as well. Anagol is going to be able to disengage once again. And it seems to me they have no answer to this Alice as well. Uh, they really need to find something with anti-healing yet, but I don't think anybody has started to purchase it. I got to double check the items just in case we see a deadly blade of some sort. Maybe one of the tanks has something. We're just going to have to wait and see. You know, arguably yep. Necklace of Durant's on Chang'u possibly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, as of now, uh, Chang'u is going to be on the front lines here. He's going to be waiting for patient, but the Lord, nothing much yet from the Lord. Yeah, I mean, they can't really play towards that Lord side, but Anabai, he's Ooh, still whoa, whoa, trying to snipe whoa, 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 Lord whoa. Pin this entire time in Anagal. He's just going to walk away. It's fine, because they know for a fact that they are going to secure this Luminous Lord, and that's what's going to crack this game wide open. Yeah, that's going to be a great split here coming with the Joma finally oh. going for the commitment, finding Anapapa, getting chipped away, but... Ooh, Ooh. the flame shot missing the mind. That's going to be the re-engage coming from Anamama, but that's going to be the full reset once again from Mina. I think oh, no. Polo's overcommitting, the tower gets caught. Up. What a great catch coming from 30 Gaming to catch him while mid air. And this is going to be the comeback that Bina is looking forward to. Here comes Omai Yuri with a shadow kill. Takes down the Harley, but Lord Payne getting chicked away. And that's going to be a great catch coming from Bina Essig because the Lord is still far away. The two men down. This might be the comeback that Bina Essig is looking forward to here. Meanwhile, Chang'o is going to slow down the Lord push here, but Anapapa is going to be there. He does have the Hurricane Dance, but 30 Gaming, they need to make moves with the Lord, but the Lord will chunk away at the hit. Inhibitor. So that's going to be one down while on the top side as well. They're going to make a jab onto his Yuri, but oh, missing the Hurricane down. Claps him on his here. Can they go for re-engage? But here comes Honda Beast. Manages to pop the OK Shadow Kill. Means, oh my, Yuri will survive and they will come back into this fight. Binna has been waiting for this right moment to strike and they are doing it. Oh, they're doing it and they're doing it well. They're making sure they're not missing their abilities and also 30 Gaming. He is prepared for Anapolis. That was a great way. He quickly used uses uh, his Shadow Step to get over the wall. And more importantly, he uses the Purify to create even more distance, allowing himself to stun Anapolos against the wall. But here it comes. Oh my goodness, Anapolos doing so much damage with just the Blood Oath. Now only pops the Winter Trungeon like it was nothing. Oh my, where did he go? 30 game instantly pops. Oh, 30 game, he just completely got shut down by Anapolos before he can do anything here. It was a great counter engagement, but unfortunately, this means the Chema will have the opportunity to try and poke away. But now the Tyrant's Revenge comes in, but unfortunately, the follow up is not going to be available as the rest of the teams are busy defending against this creep wave. The Chema, they take out two inhibitors, but Anamama is looking to go for the clean house, and he does have remorse. That's going to be great. Oh my, Yuri is going to try his best, but the Hurricane Dance catches her off guard. Lord Pete is the last man standing for Bina Isi, and this might be it. He's clearing the creep waves. He's taking a little bit too much damage, but the Chema, are they going to be have enough damage here? No, they do not. They have a tank creep. All they can't do is to clear it off. No 30 way. Gaming is back, and there's no way they can do it. They take him all out, but 30 Gaming shows himself, and the Chema will respect this. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank 
God, but Nasik was able to clear out the waves, effectively got rid of some of the uh -oh, stronger uh -oh, wave uh -oh. players, but they have to deal with one more. Can he pull out? Mama doing a really good job. Oh, no. He needs to buy some time. A little bit more. Oh, oh the base. Yes, he does it. He gets the outplay of a lifetime, taking out the right targets and holding on to this game. Let's go. Oh, that was a massive crit that he was able to sidestep him with the purify to outplay uh, Ana Papa in that game. That would have been it if he did not pull it off. That was a clutch there coming from 30 Gaming. And this is what we're talking about here. The comeback that Bina has he's been looking for and yearning for the, for the longest of time because 30 Gaming is back online. But need I remind you here, he's not max slotted yet and he needs a little bit more items here because Anapolis is still in a situation to one click button kill him. Mm -hmm. Well, also remember that now that the inhibitor turrets are broken, that just means that they are going to be super minions just pushing in towards the base. And that just means a, a, more, a bigger supply, a constant supply of gold that will always come in. Somebody needs to take it, and you don't want your crystal to start exploding randomly because of MVP minions, so it's a pretty good idea to clear them up. Oh, this might be a do-or-die situation here for Binaisik, because if you think about it here, 18 seconds on the Lord, they've got no lane control. Kachoma is constantly pressuring the lane here, maybe even a snipe with Gao as the front line on this Alice, and he's got the purple buff, so the Chirma, prime position, oh no, Yuri needs to be careful, gonna go for the side step, unfortunately misses the attempt, so that's gonna be a little bit of a wasted attempt there, as Ana Papa will not have the element of surprise anymore, Honda is going for the re-engage, going to connect onto the tank, but it is a tank versus a tank bait, while this is all happening here, it is only a zoning tactic, the Lord has been committed here, they need to come into this fight, half HP, can they go for the steal, do, have, do they have what it takes, Honda is going to go for the setup as well, Tyrus is there, but no, the land now will be chipped away. Here comes the Tempest Blades. It does a lot of damage, but look at this. 30 gaming from behind. In the same area. He's oh. jumping all the way through. He does oh. not damage. Can he survive? No, he cannot. That is going to be all the immortality bled out from Tachirma, and they oh. will survive. Oh my goodness. Be nice. Say, they had the damage, but all the immortalities were available to stop in all in his track here. The glass cannon is on his way, but oh my goodness. That is not what Bina Isik wanted. That was for sure a savage angle. That was for mm -hmm. sure a savage angle for 30 Gaming. He was so ever so close. He just needed the kill to go through, get the life back from Killing Spree, and then continue and repeat the process. Oh boy, but even see, even Anamama is purchasing, uh, sorry, Anamama is actually purchasing a Winter Trungeon to ensure that she doesn't get locked down by Honda oh, if the no. situation ever occurs. 50 seconds left on the sideline, 30 Gaming before he responds. Do they have enough time? Tyrant's Rage is being used to buy this knife here. Oh, looks like there is it. If they do not have time, that's oh. going to be monster kill as Tachirma cleans out 2 0 against Vena Essay here. Tachirma, what a game coming from Namir. 2 0. 